Hi all. This is a video series demonstrating a variety of Thai Chi techniques using the long pole for strengthening and building Chi. The long pole I have is almost 12 feet in length and weighs more than 5.5 pounds. Generally, the long pole for Thai Chi practice is made of white waxwood and tapers at one end. The one I am using is not only heavy and uneven, it's not made of any wood suitable for Thai Chi practice. It's just a make-go arrangement. These poles are generally used for scaffolding. The surface of the pole is chipped, rough and nowhere near as flexible as waxwood. The series comprise of several internal movements performed while rolling on sticks forwards and backwards, while standing on the armrest and seat of a chair, standing on one leg, in short stances and techniques executed in midair. All these movements are extremely challenging since the earthing required for balance has to happen within the body, within the Tantian. Many of the techniques are precarious and quite dangerous. It can cause extreme internal and external damage. I am doing this with injured knees, wrists and elbows. The vibration or shaking of the long pole that you will witness in the videos is because of passing chi through the base of the pole to the tip on the other end and back to the Tantian. The videos showcase the connect between the Tantian, the pole, the mind-body sink and chi flow. A strong man can probably shake the pole with his strength. However, shaking the pole is not the purpose. The purpose is to generate and move chi from the Tantian through the pole and back to the Tantian. This is an advanced internal training method of Chen Tai Chi. The shaking happens because of the burst of Qi and not muscular strength. In the series to follow, which demonstrates several internal movements while performing complex techniques, I have explained the challenges and the difficulties with respect to each form. Hope you enjoy the series.